We all have dream companies that we'd love to work for, and sometimes they have a ton of jobs posted. And you're probably thinking, well, if I apply to more of those roles, it might help me get into that company faster. The reality is it could actually hurt you. I've been in recruitment for 15 years, and I'm going to tell you why this could be the case and what you can do instead. Let's go. So first things first, I know a lot of you have dream companies out there. There's companies that you've been hoping to work for your entire career. Maybe it's companies you admire, you look up to, um, and you see that they have a lot of job openings. And you're like, you know, I'm willing to do a lot of different things to get into the company. I just want my foot in the door because if I could work for that company, I could build my career there. So a lot of people feel that way. And one of the things they do is they actually apply to a ton of different roles. They go, okay, if I apply to 20 different roles on this website, maybe I'll get interviews for half of them, and then maybe I'll get chosen for one of those jobs I can get into the company. The reality is this could be hurting your candidacy. Now, the reason this could hurt your candidacy has a lot to do with how you are perceived in that organization. The reality is when you apply to 20 different roles, it's not just 20 different hiring managers who see, oh, they applied for my role but rather people can see that you're applying to a bunch of different roles. A recruiter can see if you apply to 20 roles, they know you're applying to 20 roles and that might impact how you are perceived within the organization. Now the reality is, and this is maybe unrealistic, but it's the truth. Hiring managers want to believe you want their job. You are passionate about their job and you want to work in their job specifically. I've talked to tons of hiring managers over 15 years and I can't tell you how many of them said, I feel like this person is really interested in my role and I feel like they'd be really passionate and a good fit for the team. Conversely, I've never had a hiring manager say, Ben, what I want to hire is someone who's really great but doesn't care about my role at all and would work just about anywhere. That's what I want. Nobody wants that, it might be unrealistic, but the reality is they want to feel like you want their job specifically. Now you might wonder why is that? Well, it's for a few reasons. One, if they offer you the job, higher likelihood you'll accept because you want their job specifically. They also feel like if you really want a job, you'll just be a better employee at that job. Now when you apply to like 20 different roles within an organization, obviously that goes away. Now they see, oh, you know, it's not that they're interested in this job, it's they're interested in any job any job will do. They also feel like people who apply to a bunch of jobs, well, they lack direction. They also might be applying for like a bunch of jobs at a bunch of other companies, which makes the recruiter feel like it's less likely, even if you were the candidate decided to move forward with, that you'd be available when it's time to extend an offer. Another thing that inevitably happens when you do this, if you apply to a bunch of roles, some of them you're not gonna be an amazing fit for. And if you apply to them, they'll look at that, they'll reject you, they'll make notes in the applicant tracking system um, saying that you applied to roles that you weren't a good fit for. If you do this enough, you're going to have notes um, in the applicant tracking system at that organization that will impact your candidacy over the long run. At the end of the day, it just does not look good to do this. It is put you in a bad light and it decreases the likelihood that you'll even get interviewed for roles you would be great at and you're super well qualified for. If they see you do this enough, it will absolutely hurt your candidacy. Speaking of your candidacy, have you ever had recruiters reach out to you about a job? You respond and then they ghost you? Why do they do that? Why in the world would somebody actually do that? Well, I talk about it here. In this video, I actually explain this, why this phenomenon happens, and exactly what you can do to kind of avoid it. I'll see you over there.